has it made the region safer? Well, I think the question is going to be the goal of pulling out of JCPOA was to get a better deal that would essentially end Iran's ability to ever produce a nuclear weapon. Are we any closer to getting that agreement? And I think that is how this is ultimately going to be judged as well in terms of did we basically end the Iranian program? And if you look at what Iran's doing on the nuclear program, you know, it isn't talked about that much. They are moving ahead with that program. You know, they announced in the wake of the Soleimani killing that they were not going to have restrictions on uranium enrichment. They're already using the Fordo facility again. That's a heavily fortified facility. So just in terms of what the administration laid out as their justification for pulling out of JCPOA, we're still not closer to a deal. And now in the wake of the Soleimani killing, we just have to see, is this going to be something that seriously degrades the ability of the Iranian Quds force to foment attacks in the region, or is it going to cause new chaos? Are the proxies in Iraq going to have to respond to this? So we have to wait and see, but it's certainly incredibly volatile right now. Mm. And we seem to be at the end of this current cycle of escalation. President Donald Trump taking a victory lap. He's been able to essentially take out a known terrorist. And right. at the same time, the Iranian response was... And a very important person in Iraq indeed, as well. Indeed, indeed. And the Iranian response was less than feared. What do you think happens next? And do you see some kind of a pathway for a negotiation between the United States and Iran? Or is that just too soon? Is that too optimistic? I think the concern is, is are we going to see the sort of resumption of the shadow war? I mean, everyone says it's the end of the overt Iranian response. But what comes next? I mean, if you're someone like General Jones, you look at the protests in Iran and say, is it the end of the regime? But on the other side of that, people are concerned about does the Iranian government have to show force? Do they have to basically try to hold their population? together to say it's the United States that is fomenting this unrest. Are we going to see additional problems in Iraq? We don't think they're going to want to lose Iraq at this point. So again, it could go either way. But in terms of, you know, the nuclear deal, there's no end to maximum pressure. I mean, that's what Frank Fannin, the Assistant Secretary of State, was very clear about. Maximum pressure continues. So as long as Iran is under crippling economic sanctions, and actually going to be subject to further sanctions, mm. are they coming back to the table? They're facing a really tough economic headwinds this year. So the question is, like, does the leadership lash out?